hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to apply screw mate in uh, solidworks 220 uh, do furthermore we can go to this video so uh, here is the uh, sample unit i have made for uh, show you how to apply screw mate and uh, here it is the mate and it, uh, here it is the coin coincide uh, mate so first of all uh, we need a bolt or screw or uh, bolt, screw bolt or uh, uh, nut so this is a sample what I have made here to present you this mate uh, first thing is I will show you how to uh, how the this mate works uh, so I have already applied a mate here in a screw mate uh, I will change this transparency from here so you can have this uh, nice edge and I will I'm going to um, apply some cross sectional view to show uh, nicely um, so in here you can have that mate how and uh, how it is work uh, here you can see that uh, it is going through the threads and meshed uh, perfect perfectly meshed with the edges here i will show you Uh, you can see that it is already measured perfectly while moving around the uh, thread moving on the thread part so uh, now i will show you here you can see it uh, perfectly uh, what i have mentioned before okay now uh, it is time to design the part uh, again i will uh, release this restrictions and go to the design uh, then uh, i will uh, first i think is i i'm going to apply this uh, i'm going to design this body uh, so here what i have drawn in here is i have used uh, in build uh, thread thread cutting in here in build threads so uh, already i have chosen to uh, i have chosen to design uh, the thread is uh, diameter 5 inch uh, thread so i need a shaft containing a diameter uh, 5 millimeters then first thing is i go and start this drawing uh, in in uh, any panel i'm going to get edited and I will draw diameter 5 millimeter circle and make extrude box to uh, make this mate. Uh, so after that, this body will create it. Then I am going to apply extrude, uh, not extrude, uh, the thread. Now thread is uh, we have to get the thread locations because uh, on that. Uh, onward it will be started and then it is 10 millimeters then I already chosen this diameter 5 so I can have any any uh, one of after 5 diameter I have 0.8 so I will apply that and here um, I need a uh, here I have taken uh, here i have taken exclude uh, extruded cut not extruded cut but excluded so i apply here exclude cut then uh, here it is the thread location after that i am applying metric die into metric tag so it will be get uh, exclude so i want extrude thread so it will be in green color and this is what i want here i enter the apply uh, you can see that uh, this is not made in here correctly so we have to trim this and then i'm going to here and make edit it on this face and then click here and make convert entities and then delete this restriction and apply here then apply extrude cut and i adjust it in here to 
1.5 millimeters after that you can have this nice edge uh, to the mate I am increase this cut into 0.8 so it will be get clearly uh, understand to you understandable to you uh, then I will uh, I'm going to make that hollow part so this hollow part containing 5 millimeter diameter in here I will show you the sketch 5 millimeter diameter in middle diameter then uh, I need a extrude cut cut thread in here here I have used a cut thread so uh, into metric tap so cut thread and then I will create for you right now go in and apply new part and then on any any plane we can have that design here I already told you that our inner diameter is 5 millimeters uh, this one is not not wanted very much but I have edited I have to edit so after I apply a screwed box uh, I will apply the thread here in here go to a uh, whole wizard and apply a thread so apply the thread location so you need a extrude cut in here already uh, taken the 5 into 0.8 metric tap into metric die so uh, it will be apply extrude uh, not uh, root tap then it will be changed and I want extrude cut option uh, it is in uh, pink color here also we can have uh, one defect in here I will apply edited face and go to convert entities and select after that I will delete this restrictions and make a extrude cut uh, into point 0.8 0 0.8 so I can have the edge trimmed edge and then I will save both these files in a place and then come to my uh, mated session uh, you can have that uh, in somehow I will come back to this option uh, already made it uh, bodies then I will go and delete these mates and I will show you how to apply the mate uh, already you can fix one body by using right click and uh, make it fixed so you can't uh, remove uh, move anywhere other one is uh, we can change here we can uh, move the part in here then go to uh, view tab and uh, click hide and show so you can have that accesses and temporary accesses uh, i will apply uh, when I, after I apply these features you can have this center lines so i'm clicking on it and uh, apply uh, coincide mate so this screw is now going on with the uh, in a one one coincide path after that i am clicking on here uh, and select d uh, press d and uh, select a plane to make a uh, crock section and apply it so I can clearly see what happened inside here uh, and next thing is uh, I want to select a um, path so uh, when I will show you that when I am applying uh, the mate I have to uh, mate screw mate uh, I will show you in here in under the mechanical mates uh, first go to mate then go to mechanical mates under that mechanical mate uh, mates we have screw screw mates 
now first thing is revolutions in uh, millimeters and distance and revolutions uh, the easiest way is the distance and revolutions uh, and it uh, distance after revolution means um, distance travel within a revolution so our our point uh, i will go back to my part and i will show you where i can i found out the uh, revolution per uh, pitch so in here we can have five uh, diameter is five and point a pitch here we can have the uh, overwrite right pitch uh, here we can have the overwrite right pitch but already we have taken point eight pitch so uh, this is the uh, our required pitch size so when applying the mate uh, when applying the screw mate you have to consider about this distance and revolution distance per revolution um, revolution part so our our time it is 0.8 okay and then other thing is we have uh, to select uh, faces two faces uh, here we can see that uh, we can select this face so after selecting this face you can see that we are already selecting these uh, these values and uh, we can uh, see that it is uh, on below to the ground below the ground so uh, addendum i think so we can select by pressing this path so in here we can press uh, in here we can mate with this face when applying this face or this face uh, both is okay we are selecting the uh, un, uh, top part okay here we can't see that clearly so when pressing this part when pressing this face uh, we are applying mate into these valleys okay here here valleys when we selecting the inside planes we are selecting the top part of the uh, mating uh, mating faces so that's how we select the parts to get made and uh, other one is we have to uh, already uh, selected the mesh mesh around here mating mesh in here so otherwise if we apply uh, without coinciding these two faces like this uh, we are not getting proper uh, distance per revolution mate so i will show you applying uh, wrong method wrongly uh, here is not uh, meshing correctly and i am going to apply the mate so under the mechanical mates i am applying a screw mate so my distance to revolution first need i think i need to select the faces i am select this one and this one uh, uh, sorry for that uh, mate i have to uh, come out with the cross section now you can see what happened when selecting so now you can see what happened when selecting uh, inside also if we are selecting we are selecting the heel parts uh, the uh, top part of the mate and here we can select the valley parts in this part this mate so i'm going to apply mates under this screw mate uh, we have to get coincide in here but not perfectly coincided then i'm going to make a cross sections to show you what is on between there here here it is now you can see that it is not meshed perfectly then i am uh, removing the cross section and insert the screw mate uh, here i am selecting this part part uh, this surface and this surface it is okay to select without selecting this and this it is already same then i am applying 
revolution is here and uh, then I will show you what happened to now our mate so. now it is traveling but it is not in a perfect manner uh, it is uh, not meeting uh, with the mesh correctly so I go back to the mesh part and I will show you how to apply correctly I remove this I delete this mate and uh, I'm trying to coincide this uh, mate with uh, this surface with the, uh, the given mesh so by selecting space bar and I will uh, going to apply you can select by here and get it mated like this and after that you can uh, you can change the transparency in here to see what is going on with the uh, mate so I can select here and mate with the body like this now you can you can't see the uh, difference with the mate so it is perfectly made it and now I'm going to apply the mate session in here go to screw mate then apply the phases sorry now go to mates and apply screw mate under the mechanical mates apply screw mate select the phases then select the distance revolutions and apply 0.8 and press enter so uh, now it is ok see what happened with the mate now you can see that it is uh, meshing with the meshing with the thread uh, thread meshing with uh, thread is perfectly meshing with the screw and the nut so we can have the perfectly mated screw mate in solid works like this we will see what is going on in here so you can have the a nice idea by uh, getting transparent view on the back uh, outside body now it is going to mated with the inside bar very perfectly uh, I am inviting you to subscribe my channel to more videos and I will uh, stop this right now